Let's go over exciting news for the Obi-Wan Kenobi Star Wars movie. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, these past couple of weeks, we have been learning a whole lot more about the third anthology film, Star Wars 2020, which is said to be the Kenobi movie starring Ewan McGregor. Now, just a couple of days ago, we went over the big news that Ewan McGregor is actually in the talks with both Disney and Lucasfilm early talks of reprising his role of the Jedi Master Obi-Wan in the third anthology film. Let's cross our fingers that he actually does get to make it and portray the character once more on the big screen. Now, we also heard about Ray Park. I don't know if you guys caught that, but Ray Park is also in the early talks with both Disney and Lucasfilm for a future anthology film. Like I say, I don't think it's going to be a Maul movie. I think it's Maul returning in a future film. Now, aside from that, you guys may or may not know the actor Joel Edgerton, or Egerton as some people say. Um, this is an Australian actor, and he actually portrayed the character of Owen Lars at the very end of Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and he too is actually in early talks for the Obi-Wan Kenobi Star Wars movie, Star Wars 2020. And this brings up a lot of questions. If he is indeed reprising his role as Owen Lars, exactly what kind of story can we expect to see between both Obi-Wan Kenobi and Owen Lars? And I really do believe that they're going to have a lot of inspirations taken directly from the comic. I don't know if you guys have read the comics, but if you guys go ahead and check that out, there's quite a number of arguments between the two characters of Owen Lars protecting a young Luke Skywalker and trying to keep Obi-Wan Kenobi away. He even tells him at one point, haven't you killed enough Skywalkers already, Kenobi? Now, once again, nothing's final as of right now. This is all, of course, early talks. In fact, in case you guys didn't know, a script is not even you know, started yet for the Obi-Wan movie. Neither is it for the Boba Fett film, which by the way, James Mangold will be writing and directing. Now, we do know that Kathleen Kennedy has found her writer for the Obi-Wan movie, Star Wars 2020, and we're not quite sure exactly who that is, but the director is said to be Stephen Daldry. Now, Stephen Daldry, we haven't seen much of his work. In case you guys haven't, go ahead and on, on his IMDb, look up some stuff. But I really want to focus in here on Joel Edgerton, all right, because he's a really good actor, and I think that they could really definitely take an advantage of including him as Owen Lars. And the fact that he's in early talks right now, I really do hope that he agrees with everything on whatever Disney and Lucasfilm are offering him, as far as, of course, you know, a lot of things come into play here. How much an actor is going to be paid, how it affects his schedule, you know, when filming begins, I'm not quite sure. What are the projects he's working on right now? But talented actor, great Australian actor. If you guys haven't seen the movie The Gift, go ahead and check it out. It's, you know, a drama, thriller movie. He does a great job in there, and you can really see exactly what he could, you know, deliver to the Obi-Wan movie. Now, Ewan McGregor, as far as Ewan McGregor goes, you know, we do know that he's going to have another project in 2019, but he could always do two side by side or one after the other. You know, they're going to have to figure out exactly how things are going to be done with Ewan, and that's why they're in the early talks right now. Now, looking at the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie, we do know that all the storyboards, models, you know, all the different concept arts are all completed. That's all done. That's all, you know, like a pre-production stage. And now they just got to get down to the script. They got to get down to the script to the point where they can finally hand it over to the actors and actresses, have them read it off, and then they can finally start filming, which is set for April of 2019. And also, like we have went over a couple of weeks ago, how TMZ went over the synopsis of the Obi-Wan movie, of what they know about it, is that Obi-Wan Kenobi will be looking over a young Luke Skywalker. So that tells us right then and there that we are going to get Luke's childhood, at least to some degree. We also know that the Obi-Wan film is going to close the Skywalker story, which may seem as a good or bad thing to you guys. But 
I'm really looking forward to the aspect of this war chief that TMZ has touched on not too long ago. Whoever this war chief is going to be, I'm not quite sure, but there's a lot of inspirations taken from that Kenobi book, and I'm seeing a lot of similarities right there. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.